A couple of weeks ago, I was doing a Q&A on Facebook, and one of the questions that I got is, in my opinion, can art, like a, an, an art piece, be objectively good, or by the, the same way, objectively bad? And I didn't really know how to answer, and uh, I, I thought about it ever since, and I think it's the same kind of question as to ask, uh, is God real? Like, is God real? Some people think yes, some people think no. I'm personally an atheist, but I understand why some people would uh, believe in God. And ultimately, I'm not so sure that I'm right, you know? I don't like people who are convinced that they are right. I, I don't trust people who are convinced that they're right and whose opinion won't budge ever, you know? And uh, at the same time, um, it's impossible to really answer this question like in a definitive way because some people say stuff like, look, Today I was hiking in the forest. The, s the smell of the earth after rain was delighting my, my, my nose and there was a lot of colorful birds singing and chanting melodies and there were beautiful flowers and when I finished my hike it was, uh, you know, the end of the evening and I saw a beautiful sunset full of you know, that, that put gold in the clouds and it was really, really beautiful. These trees, the birds, the flowers, the sunset. When you see things like that, how can you not believe it was created uh, by a god, you know? How can you not believe God is real when you see all this beauty in nature, all this perfection? And it's a valid argument. It's one that I've heard often and it's kind of a valid argument. And at the same time, there are people who say, uh, when you see all the injustice in the world, all the suffering, the, the disease, the, the wars, you know, everything that's wrong in society, corruption, you know, homeless people, etc., etc., how can you believe uh, in, in God and especially in a benevolent uh, God when you see all this suffering and all this this injustice and also there are people who don't believe in God because they are hard scientists and uh, they know a lot about what's uh, at the center of the atom and, and you know physics and astronomy and basically I think that both um, sides have valid points and ultimately the existence or the non-existence of God is impossible to prove. There is no way you can give evidence, like you can give proof of the existence of God. And there is no way you can give real evidence of the non-existence of God. You know, some people use the, the Russell's teapot um, argument to say that he, God is not real. And it makes sense. And, you know, some people use the, the fact that life exists, just the existence of life and how unlikely all that is and all the, the, the biodiversity and all the, the, the rain and, and the snow and, and the flowers and all that. And a lot of people don't want to believe that it was just the, the fruit of chance and randomness. And it's also kind of valid. And... I think that the question, can art be objectively good or bad, is the same. You cannot prove that an art piece is objectively good or objectively bad. It makes no sense when you think about it. But also, it's valid to believe that yes, and it's valid to believe that no. It's valid to believe that yes, because beauty in the eye is in the eye of the, of the beholder. And, you know, we all have different tastes and different opinions, so how can something, some piece of art, be objectively good or objectively bad? It kind of defies logic and reason, you know? But at the same time, sometimes you hear a song on the radio, you know, and you're like, 
this song is bad, it's not just that I don't like it, it's not just my personal taste, uh, it, I, I, you know, it is bad, and you cannot really give evidence, you cannot really explain it logically, it's more like a gut feeling, it's more like an instinct response, and, you know, it's... You kind of you kind of feel that it's bad, or you kind of feel that some some painting that you've seen in a museum is good, and there's no way to really explain it, and there's no way to really prove it, and that's one of the the things that are good and bad about life. These questions that nobody can answer. It's one of the interesting things about the universe, in my opinion that there are so many questions that will basically nobody and never will be answered and uh, basically nobody can answer them and they will basically no never be answered and um, yeah I think it's fun to think about and it helps keep people on their toes because you know convictions are not something that I'm a fan of and I'm gonna talk more about that in episode 3 of the Thinkest Vlog. Thanks for watching, everyone. See ya really soon. Peace.